Dutch-based creative innovation consultancy We Are Pi is also here in Cannes this week along with everyone else. And I'm here with co-founder Paddy Garvey. Uh, you got here quite late to the party, <laughs> so it's only day two. Uh, what have you made of it so far? Because you can't have had much time to talk to people yet, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I just arrived. Uh, my flight was delayed from KLM from Amsterdam. So pretty fresh. Um, I've been checking LinkedIn. There's been a bit of a buzz. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into it. So what's the buzz that you've been getting remotely? And what are you going to be talking about to people this week? I'm just quite interested in this new humor category. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's on, on everyone's lips, but it's the first time it's, you know, being established here in Cannes. Um, we'll see what that means, but I'm quite excited by it. I think, um, you know, humor is such a, an important thing, uh, especially in today's, you know, day and age with cost of living, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, I, um, you know, humor is the reason I got into the industry in the first place. So. Yeah, well, and, and indeed, and this just to let everyone know, this is this is a new category in the in in in, in the Cannes Lions uh, Awards, if you like. Uh, it, it seems strange that something so basic and simple a human quality as humour uh, needs to have a special category. It does, um, and as I say, we'll we'll figure out what that means. But you know, it is universal. Um, emotion is such an important driver in uh, in the creative uh, industries and in marketing. Um, and you know it shows up in different ways and in different channels. So I'm just really interested to see what comes down the pipeline, um, not just today but into the future. Because I don't know, like I was you know, bored into all the great work from in the 1980s. You know the, the great Heineken stuff, the Carling Black Label stuff in the UK, the Tango ads, um, really, really, or even like the Hamlet ads as well. So they really, really got me interested as, a, as even as a kid. Um, and yeah, so I'm just really interested to in seeing how that you know, shows up in social media, in totally different channels, in the creator community, which is you know, on, on the peripherals here of, this, um, of the event here today. So look, I'm, uh, I'm super interested. One of the other big themes this week, of course, is uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, how is We Are Pi working with that, um, given your very creative brief? Um, pretty much the same as most agencies, I would say. I think. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we've, we've been trying a bit of a test and learn methodology with it. I think um, you can lurch too far to the left or the right with, uh, with new things. We know it's a game changer. Um, we just are figuring out the best way to apply it across our different value journeys that we offer clients. Um, seeing what works, seeing what sticks, seeing what's interesting. Uh, and see how it adds value. I mean, personally, I'd like it to remove most of the parts of my job that I don't enjoy doing, uh, allow me to focus on the parts that I really get a kick out of and I think I can bring the most value to my clients. Um, but again, within that world, I think there are ways it can help accelerate inspiration, um, execution. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just seeing what's out there at the moment. I think um, I don't want to rush too far into it and say, yeah, we've got a new AR X, Y, and Z because it, you know, that the technology changes on a daily basis. So I'm more interested on the, um, the, the principles of it and how it can be, Im, impact the, the, the working relationships. Yeah, you, and just to almost find that you can't walk down this main sort of promenade without seeing some of the huge global brands that are here, many of them your clients. Uh, what sort of things are they looking for and are they going to be talking to you about this week? From uh, a brand perspective. Yeah, well, I like to think that brand is back. I think, I think, uh, I think the last few years, there's been a bit of a race to the bottom. I think, you know, digital transformation has been hot on everyone's lips and um, ad tech, etc. So I do think it's coming back to the table a little bit more. And, you know, how do we create breakthrough thinking? How do we create uh, breakthrough uh, communication to reach new audiences and new ways? I think, um, you know, even when it comes to how brands are engaging with modern audiences is shifting so dramatically. I think our added value is to help clients navigate that, that change, um, either with you know, research and strategy or test and learn methodologies. So I think that's the thing I'm, I'm, I'm most excited about having conversations with clients about. And just lastly, I mean, you kind of touched on it there actually, but this, this idea of um, you know, young audiences, things changing all the time, how is it even possible to continue to innovate now with all of the really complicated shifts that are going on? Uh, 100%. No, I, I mean it. I think, um, you know, if, if, you, if you break down the word creativity, it's essentially it's 
critical thinking that breaks patterns. And I think that's needed now more than ever, not just because of the changing media landscape and how you know, consumers are interacting with brands, but ultimately I think, you know, I think people just need a little bit of more of that um, you know, and, and less of the mundane. So how does innovation fit into that? Um, I, th I would say it becomes more important. I think the only way it becomes difficult is when the conditions are for success aren't necessarily set up uh, on both sides of you know, the client agency relationship. I think that's the most important thing. If you can't carry on with the same processes and same mindsets and expect things to change, you have to create the conditions for success. So all that said, that's in place, then yeah, innovation plays a major role. And what are you going to take away this week? Um, to be honest with you, um, I'm not going to say a load of metal, um, but I will say, uh, I, I, I will say, look, this is the one period in the year where you get out of your bubble and you keep your head up and you look around and you get inspiration, not just from old colleagues, but just from you know, the, the work in your wards. And, you know, I think it's so important just to really, really help reframe and, 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 and keep you focused for the year ahead and, and what's coming, because without it, how are you going to help clients?